Being a goalie isn't easy. Most people would be afraid of a puck flying at their face at high speeds. Goalies, however, are built different. Even then, some goalies are afraid of the puck from time to time. For some of you, that fear might be holding you back. So in this video, I'm going to explain how to get rid of your fear of the puck once and for all. First of all, don't be embarrassed about it. It's a natural reaction to flinch when something is coming at you or avoid being hit by something. Goaltending is literally about retraining our minds to allow things to hit us. Flinching, blinking, Ducking, these are all signs of a healthy and natural nervous system. Your body is used to doing these things. It has evolved to do these kinds of things. The problem then is that goaltending is unnatural. We've reprogrammed our brains to allow us to optimize for this position. Therefore, it's completely normal to sometimes have some fear of the puck. Don't waste energy feeling bad for yourself. Instead, find a solution. Tip number one, understand your equipment. Your goalie gear isn't just for show, it's your armor against the puck. Knowing that you're well equipped can help boost your confidence. Take the time to go on the website and read about the new materials they've added, all the protection that this equipment affords you, and all the other different things about the equipment that will allow you to have confidence in what you're wearing and make it so that you're not as afraid of the puck as you were before. You can read about how your chest protector is built to absorb impact, or you can watch videos of masks like yours being tested by puck machines that are shooting pucks at 90 or 100 miles per hour. Once you understand the advancements that equipment has made over the years, you'll be a lot more confident in the gear that's protecting you and you won't be as afraid of the puck. Tip number two is related to tip number one. You should invest in high quality goalie gear and obviously everybody has a different budget. Spend what you can afford and I always think you should invest in pieces like a mask, or skates, uh, chest protection as well. These are all things that are important to invest in because if you don't feel confident in the quality and the protection of your gear, it's likely that you'll be scared of the puck. If you take a shot to the arm that really hurts, the next time you might not think about it consciously, but subconsciously you're gonna think, oh, I hope that doesn't happen again. You want to avoid those stingers naturally so your body reacts, you might be a little bit afraid, and you're not gonna play your best when you're afraid of the puck. If budget is an issue, look for used gear, look for models from last year, anything you can do to make sure that the quality and the protection is at a high level, that's the most important thing. You don't need the newest or the latest and greatest equipment. I don't recommend buying cheap, low quality gear if you can help it, especially when it comes to something like a mask. You don't wanna play around with head injuries. If you can afford it, invest in your equipment. Tip number three is about focusing on technique because when you're scared of the puck, you're likely going to play too deep in the net and you can see this sometimes goalies will retreat back in the crease it gives them in their head more time to react to the puck if you're scared of the puck you might move back in your net you're going to open up more space for the shooter and it's just going to make you play less well than you're capable of playing ironically the further back you play the more likely the puck is going to rise up and catch you somewhere in the chest or the arm or even in the head playing too deep in your net is something that goalies do when they're scared but it's also more likely to get you hit by a puck now that doesn't mean that you should come out as far as possible on every shot. You have to look at the situation. You shouldn't be afraid of staying back deeper in the net if necessary, but you want to not retreat back just because you're scared. You need to focus on your technique. And once you're not as afraid of the puck, technique will improve as well. Tip number four is about exposure and experience. So if you face enough shots over time, you will get over your fear. If you recently got hit by a puck and it hurt, that is going to be in your head until you face enough shots to get over it. The higher up you go, the less goalies are afraid of the puck. And the main reason for that is they've just experienced more and more high level shots than younger goalies. But the older you get, the more experience you get, the more comfortable you are with shots coming in and hitting you and not hurting you. Your equipment does its job. You realize that you don't need to be afraid of the puck. There's no easy solution for this. Just face more and more shots and over time, your fear should reduce. Finally, if none of these tips work, I definitely recommend working with a mental health professional, a sports therapist, someone who can work with you on these problems and give you a little bit more support. I'm obviously not a professional when it comes to these types of things and experts can help you work on these problems and resolve them for good. For some of you, the first few tips I gave might help and you might get completely over your fear of the puck. For some of you, you need a little bit more work, you need support from a professional, and this person can help you get over your fear, understand why you're scared of it, and get you back to playing at a high level. I hope you found this video helpful. Please leave a comment if you have any other questions and make sure to follow the channel.